Welcome, listeners, to another Ice Turner experience. Um, but this particular um, uh, topic, I believe this is an experience that we've all have uh, come accustomed to dealing with uh, with this particular individual. Um, so I would like to say this, that, you know, anyone that is, um, that is you know, a, a good guy or a nice guy isn't, um, you know, self-proclaiming that. You know, it's kind of like, um, lets you be the judge. You know, more importantly, what you have to understand is that, you know, everyone's, um, you know, motivations, you know, for doing something isn't, you know, entirely, you know, singular or uh, pure, you know. For example, I mean, there's, there's, there's a multitude of motivations, you know, going on. Uh, when someone is, um, you know, either suggesting something or doing something. So it's never, you know, entirely malicious or, um, you know, purely, you know, altruistic, you know. You know, love and hate have more than, you know, four letters. <laughs> Just joking. So anyways, my question to you would be, you know, how do you know well, how to govern your own intentions, you know, let alone um, notice um, the malicious aspect of your intentions as well as your, uh, I would say, um, more innocent purely innocent you know, aspect of your intentions um, really all given the same dose you know how do you discover it and then how do you um, govern it you know it's something to really think about you know, it's something else to also think about this is why you should be leery of a guy who, you know, always pretends to be nice or uh, pretends to be Jesus Jr., you know, some type of beacon or savior, you know. You have to ask, you know, how many times have you saved yourself this week or have you saved yourself this week? You know, you have to be mindful of those that pretend to be, you know, heroes you know, who act like uh, they're to, uh, you know, save the world. But uh, this is utilizing that as a guise for, you know, um, another way to manipulate and control people. You know, Hitler actually uh, started off uh, appearing that way. You know, so did um, Jeffrey Dahmer. So did uh, Charles Manson. So the little Nas X, <laughs> you know. So whenever you, uh, you know, you hear a guy mention that he is a uh, nice guy, you know, I would encourage you to, uh, you know, remove yourself, you know, far from that individual, you know, as fast as you can, you know, because this is someone who um, wears, you know, the social mask to. Uh, masquerade his uh, ungoverned uh, and um, unchecked intentions as well as uh, being someone who needs to be accepted you know and is very uh, needy and desperate for validation you know and what happens in desperation right you know all morality is uh, you know thrown to the wind you know, this is also someone who, uh, fortunately, is uh, love-starved um, due to whatever, uh, maybe, upbringing, you know. So in that case, you know, he'll do whatever it takes to receive um, that affection, right? Including uh, supplicating, you know, to a woman and uh, being their emotional tampon pen cushion. Sometimes both interchangeably, you know. And this is 
someone who's unable to uh, take or um, handle criticism. You know, he has a, um, a facade going on. You know, and ain't that facade, you know, he's a triple faced pussy. When it comes to uh, conflict and owning up to, you know, his mistakes and wrongdoing. No, there's a lot of uh, deep rooted uh, psychological issues, you know, with this individual, you know, that's what you really should be mindful of the, uh, the public uh, persona, you know, um, guys always showing you the, uh, the good face, right? Guys always showing you the, the good, right? appearance of good and not inviting you in to the other aspect of them, right? The war works in those polarities, right? Light and dark, yin and yang. He's not showing you both sides of that coin. There's a major issue there. It's a major problem. That's someone that's not really genuine, you know. And, and that's another thing to be mindful of is the guy that goes along, get along, and the guy that wants to get along with everybody, you know. That's someone that, um, that is, a, um, is a rattlesnake, but you don't really hear it, you know. Or you might hear it, you think it's music and you're just getting rocked to sleep. Would be mindful of these individuals. They are emotionally unstable. They are emotionally unstoppable. They're uh, disingenuous and dishonest. Because a nice guy is really a coward. You know, they're afraid to uh, speak their mind. They're afraid to be honest. They're afraid to tell things as it is. And reason being because they live in, you know, a, a fantasy in their mind that's, um, you know, several steps from reality. You know, it's kind of like you could think it's Final Fantasy, but it isn't. You know, it's something that's, you know, continuous um, level of madness, you know. And underneath that, you know, this is a person that just goes from one sad reality to another. You know. Be mindful of the, uh, the fake nice guy. Now, these are some of the things to watch for, right? And also be mindful of those that can give you observations of everything else except for themselves, you know? Tell me about you. If they can tell you about everyone else, ask them to tell you about them. Let's see how quickly they answer that. Let's see if they dodge or deflect that. See if someone can't give you a straight answer. See, that's the fake nice guy that can't give you a straight answer. That's a major sign. They're uh, experts at uh, denial, deflection, and, um, you know, uh, disregarding.